essentially we, I was hanging out with a bunch of guys who I commissioned with and we were walking get some food in Perito Key and as we were getting closer to the restaurant drunk driver comes from behind us and wipes us all down, moves us all down. I was in the back and so I took most of the hit. They never thought I'd walk again, talk again. They thought I was gonna get a ventilator for the rest of my life, thought I'd be on a feeding tube for the rest of my life and never be independent again. Jordan, if you can hear me, give me a thumbs up. Nothing happened. Jordan, if you hear me, give me a second finger. <laughs> Nothing happened. And then she said, Jordan, if you could hear me, give me the bird. <laughs> and so I guess I knew what that was in a coma. I flipped them all off. Um, doctor said, he responded to an, uh, a command. Um, we got a response. All options of pulling the plug are off the table. All their eight guys that were hit with me, they bring me this jacket. They said, hey, this is your jacket and it has your call sign on it. And, you know, I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. So they hand it to me and they said, your call sign's Phoenix. And I'm like, get out. Like, have we not gone through enough? You're gonna call me Phoenix I'm from Phoenix. And they're like, no, 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 because you're gonna rise from the ashes. What would Tom Maverick say? For a long time, um, there's a lot of uncertainties and, and guesses. Um, of if I would ever be in the air again. And as, that be as I progressed in recovery, that, that answer became a little bit more clear to me. First opportunity I had to go back in the air, I took it. Oh, it was a sense of freedom. Um, I left all my worries and concerns on the ground and I went up there and spread my wings. <laughs>